And tomorrow on Veterans Day, parades and ceremonies will honor our men and women who wore a uniform. But Joe Vasquez shows us some young veterans are taking off their shirts to tell their own war stories through the art of tattoos. Phantom Fury, that's the battle. That was the battle. That was the second battle of Fallujah. Painted across the chest of Mike Ergo of Walnut Creek is the bloodiest battle of the Iraq War. The worst memory of his life. It was a month I dreaded. Come on, Sharp! November 2004, 23 members of his unit were killed. The tattoo is a great way of showing that, yes, I carry this within my heart forever, and I also show it on my skin for the rest of my life. Mike is one of millions returning home from two recent wars. Two dozen California veterans are now sharing their indelible stories of the agony of combat, expressing their loss in an art project called War Inc. The clouds are like the angel rays coming down, and it's my feet. They're my Chuck Taylors with wings, so it's like my feet going to heaven. War Inc. was conceived in part by a Contra Costa County librarian who realized there might be a solution to the age-old problem of combat veterans struggling to readjust to society. They often hold it all inside. Isolation is common, even for heroes. These tattoos are a way of hearing their narrative and really honoring them. Through their tattoos, the project creators figured maybe veterans might begin to open up to the civilian public and begin to heal. And in that flag are names of men that I worked with that died in combat. And down towards the bottom, you know, are, are demons that, which represent, you know, the, the memory, you know, of all of this for me. You don't have to directly ask about your military experience. You can say, hey, that's a cool tattoo. What does that mean? I feel kind of lonely all the time, and it's a way for people to look, you know, be like, hey, what's that? What's that about? The month of November was nightmarish. It was, it was terrible. I, I just would kind of go into a cave and, and just kind of hide out for a little while. Because nowadays, Mike celebrates November. That's because last November is when his baby was born. My daughter was born November 4th, and it went from an experience of death in November to an experience of brand new life. Lives honored as we remember those lost this Veterans Day through Inc. Joe Vasquez, KPIX 5. It's called War, Inc. It's an online exhibit launched tonight, uh, just in time for Veterans Day tomorrow. And you can find it at KPIX.com. Click on links and numbers.